Hello, good uh, evening, my viewers. Today we will discuss about A320 daily check. How, how, which are the items which need to be performed for daily check? So, uh, first of all, we must know that this da this daily check or uh, 24 hours check having the elapsed time up to 48 hours for example it is a depend up to amp someone uh, so in some companies you will find that that elapsed times for et 2020 daily check is 36 hours not more than that so elapsed time means due to operational consequences sometimes the you could not find the exact maintenance time to complete your daily inspections which are entitled or uh, I mean as per MPD it is uh, mentioned it should be it should be mentioned in your time in your daily check so what I am trying to say to you that that uh, elapsed time in some companies up to 48 hours and in some companies up to 36 hours but not more than 48 hours so first of all we have to think about that what uh, is daily check daily check daily check means within 24 hours you have to inspect the aircraft having said that inspection include some maintenance or for example servicing etc so as I already inform, uh, said to you that that uh, elapsed time for daily check is 36 hours to 48 hours. Why we need this one? Because due to operational consequences. Operational consequences. You could not find the proper exact maintenance time for daily check. So that's why uh, it is approved that operator can do daily check uh, uh, extra. I mean, if you have, if we don't have the time within 24 hours, you can get the extra time to perform this daily check. It can be up to 36 hours or up to 48 hours as, as what your AMP is approved by the local authority. So, what items actually are added in daily check? What items are included in this daily check? Number one is First, when you go to the aircraft, first review the tech logbook. Okay. Is there any defect in the tech logbook? Just, just go through that. Any, M, any MDD or ADD has been raised. Just follow up all the things. Take the PFR. So, just go through and uh, familiarize with the aircraft current situation okay number two is if you have to check on the graph that chokes are in position are in position chokes are in position And ground locks for landing gear is already installed for landing gear 
the stop it should be okay number 4 is use external power which is most priority at ground and to save the ab orbits you have this uh, you have the opportunity or the facility available that you can use the external power which is very good okay then just go out on side and carry out general visual inspection of the doors from ground level okay mean walk around you do walk around starting from l1 door and then to redoom side check the door static probes are in correct position no bending no ashes over there no blackish i mean yeah it can, it, it would be seems as black but not uh, in appropriate condition it should be uh, in uh, in a correct physical condition and then go to the right hand side check the doors battery discharge indicator it should be green then moving forward uh, moving uh, from the nose to the backward check that the uh, cargo doors and uh, antennas atc dme tick as localizer antennas should be should be inspected and uh, then go for engine check the blade condition uh, p2t2 sensors temperature sensors or t2o sensor as for the engine configuration what you have cfm v25 or leakage and then towards the wing side check the wing area static discharger and navigation lights and uh, on tail section check the apu indicator should be intact and uh, so physical condition you need to check so that is called back around we have to do okay and next is Uh, yes definitely we have to carry out visual inspections of uh, that is we in walk around we can inspect visual inspection we can see that visual inspection of doors doors and um, upper and lower fuse large okay lower fuse large and definitely wings wing area and also landing gear doors landing gear doors okay then number 6 point is check and record the tire pressures okay check and record the tire pressures tire pressures and uh, apply mil H five six zero six chromium surface of the shock absorbers and sliding tubes need to be cleaned with lint-free cloth. Okay, right. So these are the five points, and then I will show you next. Number six point is number six point is apply MIL H five six zero six 
I'm talking about A320 new aircraft. So uh, you have to do the procedures. That is reference is already given in chapter 12. Reference in chapter 12. That what actually uh, material that you have to apply on the chromium surface. Chromium surface of uh, shock absorber. Shock absorber. Okay. Then after that, sliding tube. need to be clean with lint free cloth okay lint free cloth after that what you have to do you have to check inspection of you have to do this visual inspection of stabilizers and tail unit so visual inspection for stabilizer and tail unit okay and if you are aircraft having rain repellent system available then you have to do a correct fluid level to be maintained or filled uh, up to the correct green range pressure but mostly in new aircraft that system is deactivated and uh, most only aircraft, a 320 aircraft that is not being used so if in your aircraft it is uh, applicable and the system is installed not inoperative then you have to add this uh, fluid and uh, you have to add you have to check the fluid level of rain repellent system okay so here I'm not discussing about this because uh, in most of the aircraft it is not applicable. Then we have to check uh, drain water from all sump valves in all fuel tanks. Okay, no, I mean you have to drain water. from fuel tank fuel tank from where there is a sump valves available right where the water is accumulated during a longer up to one hour uh, minimum ground time the water has been settled down in the base of the wing tank so you have to easily drain the water which actually create a problem in fuel capacitance, fuel quantity, likewise. So performance factor will be degraded. So many things, uh, many consequences can be occurred. So what you have to do, you have to drain the water from the fuel tank. If the uh, if uh, the cup having count time is more than one hour, so water is settled on the base. You can just drain from the. There is uh, there are some valves available. So you have to drain from the sump valves. Okay. Then the main point is crew oxygen pressure is above minimum for dispatch. That is also mentioned in 35 chapter and also in F form part limitations. Okay. So check the crew crew oxygen pressure. oxygen pressure I'm talking about cockpit crew oxygen pressure okay above the minimum dispatch limit it should be okay and that is in ATA chapter 35 and F form also so that is we have the DD check uh, for T20. Then definitely for P2 sites, what you have to do, you have to check lights to the operational test of all 
exterior lights lights okay and print out the pfr as i said or earlier to you yes check the pfr print the pfr And uh, check for check the NPF for for warning and clear messages and perform required action is if it is considering uh, to, if it is considering to do as earliest. Okay, but most of the defect which are definite which are strict on the system display and uh, it is also part of the PFR. Then you have to check the MEA. How uh, and which parts are actually applied uh, for the area? So you have to go like this way. And then definitely a few hours and cycles are required in the last. A few hours and cycles are required. Right? To give uh, why that is needed? That is needed for the record purpose. And we have to give to the uh, your cardiac control department. So after I mean, if you check everything, then you have to certify the aircraft logbook uh, for daily check, and uh, that's, that is basically. Entry of daily check in log book. Log book. Okay. So that is our daily check. And what is the statement for daily check? Is that it is the that is to certify the work which is specified definitely in uh, AMP in AMPD and uh, campaign procedures uh, so requires that the work specified except as otherwise specified was carried out in accordance with car 145 and in respect to that work aircraft and aircraft component are considered ready for release to service all right so that is all part of car 145 Thank you. Hope you like this video and it will memorize you or remind you what you have done during daily check. So, uh, please subscribe and like this channel for more informative and uh, very knowledgeable videos which is related to practical experience. Thank you very much.